Good day, everybody. My name is Ryan Hargraves, and I am the Director of Admissions at the University of Vermont, otherwise known as UVM. And I'm here today. I've been in the admissions business for almost 20 years. So what I prepared for you today is a list of five tips. These are five tips that I think will help you ultimately guide your college application process. And the first one, and there's actually a couple no's in this process, not N-O, but rather K-N-O-W's, right? The first one is to know yourself. And I think you are going to be the most important driver in all of your decisions moving forward. So as you think about yourself, I want you to ask yourself this very big question, why? Why am I applying to this university or this college? And ultimately, you wanna think about those things that are personal to you in your decision making. Is it the academic programs, research opportunities? Are you looking for a certain culture around study abroad or philanthropy or athletics? Is location important to you? Is the size of the institution important? And while it's important for you to think about the perspective that folks who know you well have, your family, your peers, the folks who you work with at your school, your counselor, your teacher, perhaps you know your coaches, their input is extremely valuable, but ultimately you have to be the one driving this decision. I want you to really think about what will ultimately land on your list. Now for most students, six to eight schools will be a nice number. Perhaps you will apply to a few more based on your interest. But I really want you to think, while I want you to hone your list, I want you to call your list, ultimately that final list of schools to which you apply has to have some breadth, particularly breadth with regard to profile and selectivity. So if you're only applying to schools that have single digit admit rates, you may want to think about that. Places that have single digit admit rates, you think about it, even the most exceptional candidates aren't shoe-ins for admission. So I want you to apply to at least two or three schools whereby your profile will dictate that you are a virtual slam dunk in the admissions process and then otherwise, you know, reach for the stars. So so tip number three, so you 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 know your self, you know your options. I want you to know KNOW, actually a third KNOW, I want you to know the process. Right, so as you figure out, okay, here's my list of schools to which I'm gonna apply, am I going to apply early? You know, one of the trends in higher education is more and more students in the last decade or so have chosen an early option, early action, early decision. And I want you to think about the implications of being an early applicant, particularly an early decision applicant whereby you are virtually signing a, a, a contract saying that if you are admitted, that you will in fact enroll and you may not have benefit of your financial aid statement. So, so think about that. But when you are applying to schools, a lot of your peers may be applying early. Don't feel like you have to like apply early. Don't feel like you have to give in to that pressure because quite frankly, you may be a better applicant applying regular decision. And if you're a regular decision applicant, for example, the admissions committee will be able to take into account your first semester senior year grades. And so if you got off to a little bit of a, a slow start in high school, but you're really doing well now, and that that set of grades your first semester, can that could be a tipping point for you. So I want you to you know think about that and have a good, honest conversation with your college counselor about timing your application and really knowing the, the process. So I think one of the most important points as you formulate your college essays is because it's your voice, I want you to use your words, your language, your phrases, and not borrow from a thesaurus. I don't want you to get overtaken by what I refer to as the Tyrannosaurus Rex, right? And so, you know, the words cataclysmic or nugatory or obstreperous, like they sound great, but if you've never used them, you've never spoken them, you've never written them, you're not familiar with them, this is not a good time to experiment with your vocabulary. And quite frankly, colleges, college admission committees aren't uh, looking for you to be the next you know, Faulkner or Maya Angelou or Amy Tan, but really to be able to express your unique voice. And that's why I want you to stick with your words, your language, because that'll give you the best chance to be authentic and make a connection with the admissions committee. So, so tip number five is actually related to a process that is 
not necessarily the admissions process itself, but corollary to it, and that's financial aid. I want you to really understand the process, know the, the, the deadlines, and also make sure you're on the same page with the folks who ultimately will help you fund your education. So, you know, when you think about financial aid, many schools, if not all schools, use the FAFSA, particularly those who will be offering federal student aid, and then they'll offer other forms. There's the CSS profile. There is, on varying levels, there are institutional forms that you'll have to fill out. But think even more broadly than that. I want you to think outside the box. Are there opportunities for scholarships, grants, in your community, at your school, or, or even beyond? So a quick search or registration on fastweb.com will help you find and, and filter opportunities that may be available to help you fund your college education. Application vehicles, start the ignition, common application or perhaps a coalition, think fit, perhaps call your list, won't tell you which schools to apply, I plead the fifth, please give yourself time to think. You'll be so much less stressed, you'll be tickled pink. On your E-S-S-A-Y, I can't lie, don't even try to be another girl or be another guy and to that own self be true. Expository, salient statement about you. Think big and think small. For thousand college, you can't apply to them all. It's your personal statement, no more, no less. Never find abatement, dig deep, find your greatness. While you're worried about your studies and all life's norms, don't forget to complete your financial aid forms. There's a FAFSA, the profile, the CSS. Find out from schools on your list which ones are the best when your admission letters come rolling in. Now it's time for some visiting on campus or perhaps a tour online. Make sure fit is what you get before you sign the bottom line. Application process. Don't be stressed. Put your best foot forward. Take a few deep breaths and don't worry about the rest. You've already passed the test. Congratulations on getting this far in the process. Good luck, everyone, and I'm out. Only thing that would make it better is like if one of those chickens from the agro house. Oh, my God. Would just come over here like... <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!